Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Sunday on FIFA Ultimate Team. You know what that means. Hopefully some upgrade packs today. A lot of us would love to pack a Sterling, a Chiesa, a Neymar, and many of the other players that are in this Summer Stars team number two. So I want to talk about that and the content that we could be seeing today. Also potentially some more Icon Moments player SBCs. And also the big game that is happening today, of course, with the Euro final, again, last chance to do the Jorginho, the Declan Rice SBCs that will get a plus two. Um, and it should be a pretty pretty quick upgrade, I would think, because EA knows these are big games, really hype. So hopefully within the next 24 hours after the game today, we would see an upgrade for a Jorginho or for a Declan Rice, whoever is to win that game. Now, of course, some of the FOF Path for Glory card cards upgrades are on the line here as well. Some five-star, five-star upgrades for basically uh, Brazil, Argentina, uh, Italy, and England. Now, of course, as I'm as you're watching this video, the Brazil-Argentina game is probably already done and dusted, and we know who has won that game. But I'm recording before that, so I do not know just yet. And also, one thing we had crazily happen on the market yesterday, and I want to talk, start by talking about this, is an insane amount of price drop on the entire game. I think it was because of the preview packs they released yesterday, at 6 p.m. yesterday, they released a set of eight 125k packs. They didn't actually do lightning rounds, but they put 125k packs out for basically three hours. So it's like lightning rounds, but you know you, there's a fixed number of them. And so a lot of people, instead of opening 50, 100, and 125ks every round for their preview packs, they were opening 125, and that is technically the best pack in FIFA. So I think with that, I think EA cranked the pack weight up a little bit, to be completely honest. I mean, if you take a look, Summer Stars players, 6.5% probability, which actually mine just refreshed. So I'm going to open this right now and, and open this up. And I'm recording this on the end of those lightning rounds. This is usually when 125k packs would be out. Now, in my first one that I opened today, I actually packed an icon. I packed Moments Crespo from my first preview pack today. And there's a 90 Allison, which is probably not going to be enough unless there's some stuff behind this. Not worth buying that pack. But it seemed like EA somehow turned the pack weight up or just the fact that it was ultimate packs today that were available as previews. It supplied the market so freaking much with these cards. I mean, take a look at some of these icons. Prices are already down so much because of the Neymar card. And again, a lot of people are saying, yo, look at Moments R9. We think EA's messing with the market. I don't think EA messed with the market at all with Moments R9. I just think it was literally this Neymar card that has come out has uh, drawn so many people into that card and so many people want to use that Neymar. And that's why you're seeing a lot of this market crash. But that's just normal panic uh, because of prices getting cheaper on FIFA and that Neymar card being 5 million coins uh, where he is right now. But Neymar, right before the content drop today, went back up to almost 6 mil. He went back up to almost 6 mil. He got to 5 mil flat last night, overnight from Friday into Saturday. He rose back up with almost uh, a quick little surge to like 6 million coins. But then take a look at all of these first owner fresh, tradable Neymars that are getting packed today. And people are selling them because they're trying to get their coins. And the prices on these cards are just dropped lower and lower and lower because of the supply it's seriously insane how much these preview packs impact the market it's nuts right raheem sterling is 1.3 mil 1.29 at the moment this guy was 1.7 mil last night overnight you had crazy price drop offs on this chiesa right Feder federico chiesa right now is 380,000 coins i believe 390 380k this guy was 560,000 coins last night almost 600k i could go on and on about the price drops on these cards. Ferran Torres is like 230K. He's down 100K. He's 140,000 coins. Gomez, who I actually packed and used in one game, and he feels pretty good, by the way, just in case you wondered, slight flex. Uh, this guy was like 500K, I believe, or like 480,000 coins this morning. Right now, he is 280,000 coins. So a crazy amount of supply. And you look at all these cards that are on the market, and they're all basic chem styles. They're fresh first owner, right? That just tells you that there's so much supply coming on in the market and it's crazy, right? I think this is maybe just an experiment from EA with the preview packs, to be completely honest. I think they might've done this once before um, with the PTG cards. They just put out ultimate packs, but right now what they're doing today with this, you know, kind of putting out the ultimates and not really doing lightning rounds, um, just putting out these ultimate packs. I think this is literally what's what's crashing the market, but it's, it's insane 
that that is happening. They must have turned up the pack weight again. I, I keep saying that, but I'm just trying to f f like come up with ideas on why the supply is seriously so much today. But if you look at all the cards they get on the market, they're all like fresh, right? Some people sell on their cards they use during the weekend league, taking a huge loss. I mean, this is probably even a fresh one that somebody packed, put a chem style on, played one game, scored one goal, and is now selling it. So again, a lot of coins are being lost, but it's also July, it's August, it's whatever month you want to say it is. It's towards the end of FIFA, right? That's the joke. It's almost the end of FIFA. So just do what you want to have to do to have fun in this game. But again, these prices look really, really, really low. When is going to be the lowest for these cards? Honestly, we're going to have more preview packs probably today on Sunday with upgrade packs. Last week for Team 1, we saw them hit a low on Sunday, and then they kind of rebounded back up into the week. Then they got low again on Thursday. I don't know if that's going to be the case with these cards, um, but, I mean, it's just crazy to see the supply and how much they dropped off. I mean, 95 Cavani, 140K after being like 240K yesterday is nuts. It's crazy, crazy, crazy to see these price drop-offs. I don't know when the lowest is going to be. It depends on the content that EA drops into the game, but it really is from the supply today. So I, today might be a lower day for some cards. Like the Neymar at 4.9 mil, I do think that's kind of low. He's probably going lower before he maybe rebounds back up later tonight. But also with all the supply coming to the market, you're seeing fodder drop a decent amount as well, finally, right? I mean, 84s are back down. They're, they're going to the 7K range. 85s, 86s, if we take a look at the index, you can see, again, a nice drop off, right? They dropped off yesterday, and now they're dropping off once again, which is very, very nice to see this fodder get cheaper um, with all the supply that we're having. 84s are taking almost the biggest hit. I mean, on Thursday, we were up to 452 points on the index. And now we're down to 311. So I don't think we're going to get all the way down here. I don't think we're going to see 84s at like 4K, 3K. Uh, but if they hit 5,000 coins, you know, probably I'm interested again. Because I think this next week upcoming in FIFA, you're just still going to see a lot of content, right? Maybe some more player picks like an 85 plus, the 87 times 3, the 82 times 10, all that sort of stuff. I would continue to expect to see that. Now, again, speaking of those types of upgrade packs, those are very nice to do. And they're very nice to craft, right? So today on Sunday, Sundays have been the upgrade pack day basically all this entire year. FIFA, they give us five days for upgrade packs. I think today that we are going to see another set of upgrade packs in FIFA. Now, I will say I have my expectations lowered a little bit. Usually, Team 2 upgrade packs are a little bit worse than Team 1. Think back to PTG, right? PTG Team 1, we had 81 plus player picks. PTG Team 2... We had 82 plus player picks, which required an 80 rated squad, which that sucks, right? So I don't know. I mean, we had the 80 plus player picks last week. They were decent. They weren't that great. I really hope we have the 81 pluses come out this week and the 82 to 88 player pick as well. Just release those EA Sports and we will be happy. Now, also what we could see today are more icon player SBCs. I think there's a lot more... Um, not rumors, but there's a lot more, I guess, hope. Since these prices have dropped off so much on a lot of these prime icon moments, I think a lot of people are hoping for some big time SBCs. Some names that have been thrown around are even like um, Zidane and, Mate uh, not Mateus, he's already got an SBC, but um, Maldini. Those are some names that have been thrown around as potential like icon SBCs that we could see um, pretty soon in FIFA. And I think that would be pretty high. But you even think about a guy like Eusebio, who right now is 3.1 million coins. That's nowhere near as expensive as he used to be EA Sports. So you can like, if they're waiting for him to get low enough to a price to drop his SBC, then they've, I think they've reached that low enough price to where they can drop the SBC for a lot of these icon moments cards. Zidane was just 2.8. He's back to 3 mil. Um, you know, I really, really hope for some big time icon moments released as SBCs pretty soon, right? Because I think we all kind of want those. Um, and it's just that time of the year where we, ooh, wow, 115 for Pushkas is pretty low. Um, but it's time, right? We deserve those icons. We've waited on them long enough. We need to see them dropped in, in, in the game. So that's kind of my thought on those. Again, you see the supply continuing to come in on these Summer Stars items with this last hour of those ultimate uh, packs there in the store. And these prices literally just keep dropping lower. If you look at all these graphs, it's insane. It's literally just insane to look at all these graphs and look at the price drops. Um, and a lot of these cards, I guess the benefit here is, is that it's a lot cheaper, right? Day two, 1.6 mil down to 1.3. Look at this huge drop off from the Sterling. It's seriously 
all of that supply today. So hopefully today on Sunday, we do see those big icon SBCs. Hopefully we do see some upgrade packs. Now, I didn't even talk about yesterday's content, Saturday's content, uh, which was, you know, a pretty solid SBC, if I'm being honest, value wise, Casper Dolberg, 94 rated for his goals that he scored four star, four star. It's a decent looking card, finesse shot, outside foot, flare trait. He's got the good traits, right? 97 finishing, 99 shot power, 91 agility and 85 balance isn't the best. Uh, but this is more of a fun card, right? It's a fun card. It's an 84 rated squad. And if we do get upgrade packs today, very, very, very craftable for that Dolberg. So decent item right there. And again, I would encourage you guys to take a look at this objective Yuri Mina because this card with the stats that you get is just insane. Insane, insane, insane. 10 squad battles matches, um, seven wins, I think is all you have to get. And it's just very a very, very good card at this stage of the game. It's not live or anything, but just an insanely good card for this stage of the game with the stats that it has. So I think that's a really, really big one to look at. Now, again, for these cards, I mean, we're taking a look at a lot of the Spanish cards too right now because a lot of these guys have dropped off a bunch. Um, you, you take a look at like Laporte, right? Now, Laporte is out of packs. A lot of people bought this card for the Spanish Weekend League. And this guy, uh, he's actually rebounded back up a little bit. He was down to like 160. He's kind of chilling at 160, 170. But a big drop on this card's price. And if you take a look around the rest of the market, you see these... Um, a lot of these Spanish players are dropping off, which is as expected. Butra Gueno, 570K, 550 now. He was like 650K at his peak this weekend. Low key, this could be going 500K flat. I think this could get to 500K flat with the sell-off and more supply today from the preview packs, from the, that, from those ultimates. This is just bringing so much supply to this game. So that's kind of what's going on, man. The market's just dropping lower. This Neymar, again, went from 4.9 5 million coins up to almost six i saw him sell like five 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 six now he's back down under five i do think i honestly think that these cards are going to get low later tonight on saturday and then bounce back up a little bit into sunday maybe a little bit as they get rare again for some of these summer stars when we when we have this much supply what just happens is so many people pack these items um that they're trying to selling and they continually undercut each other and then when all those undercuts stop then at some point you do have a bit of a bounce back. So we're definitely keeping an eye out for a little bit of that. I mean, Kies is a very hyped card. He was just 380. So if I were to see one of these pop up in an undercut, you know, I might get interested, but also some of the icons as well that have just dropped off so much this weekend that are still very valuable. And that once they get this cheap, some people look at these icons and they say, man, this card is so cheap. I'm going to go buy it and try it out, right? Moments Eusebio being 3.13 million coins. Like I even was thinking about trying this card out. If I saw one at three more mil flat, I'd be very interested in picking that card up because he sold at three, five, three, six, uh, just like a few hours before the content drop yesterday on Saturday anyway. So today and Sunday, probably just a few, like I expect more prices to drop. I really do. Or maybe just kind of staying stagnant after the huge drops that we had yesterday. Some cards like PTGs um, that haven't dropped that much yet, I think they're due for more of a drop. Firmino, 1.9 million coins. I know that there's still a potential upgrade here, but a lot of these PTGs, Militao is actually dropping now. He's 640, but you know Hazard is down. Um, Felix is down, but some of these cards that haven't dropped yet, like Pogba, um, like Firmino, I would expect these guys to drop. Even if Brazil were to win tonight and he to get the five-star, five-star upgrade guaranteed, I still think a lot of these PTGs have just too much there's too much hype built into them with the live aspect of the cards. And I think these cards had to drop off a little bit more too. And maybe some of your other out of packs items that are still kind of expensive with these brand new cards being this cheap. Summer stars from team one and team two. Like, you mean, you look at how cheap 100K for Isak, that's down. Ronaldo 3-6 down a lot for that card because of what's happening with this team too. Wow, Sterling caught a huge undercut there on footbin. That's insane. That's there's no way it's actually his price. It's got to be a footbin undercut. Cause I would buy that right now. To be honest, if it was sitting at 114, yeah, it's not. But anyways, I think that is one thing you could watch out for is just some of the rest of this market continuing to fall off as well. Um, because of these cards getting so cheap and being so cheap for the value and the quality of the card that you do get. So that's the video for today on Sunday. We hope for upgrade packs. If you want to go and, and buy some rare golds and talk your club, go for it, right? Basically discard for rares and non-rares. I'd go to rares first because most of the time the SBCs require rares. That's what I would do if I were you. Um, that could be a last minute preparation that you do. And honestly, you could look towards some fodder as well. I know it's still kind of dropping, but you know, if you see some of these 84s get down to like, you know, 6k on bid, 
I don't think it's a bad idea because I think the SBCs will start ramping up today. If we get icons today, um, if we get a player SBC that's very valuable, again, big names like Renato Sanchez being throwing out, been thrown out there. Um, I would love a Hoiberg SBC personally for my club with the links. Uh, people are talking about a Pedri SBC. I mean, that's an SBC a lot of people want to get. So if any of those were to come, I think that would pick fodder up for sure. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind. Fodder is always lower on the weekends with the supply. So I, I would maybe get involved with some of that. 83 to 87 would be the place where I'd get involved the most if you were looking to buy some SBC fodder. So that's the video for today, boys. I hope you did enjoy it. Hope we see some big upgrade packs and some hype content today on Sunday inside of FIFA 21. Again, if you enjoyed it, hit a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.